Go ahead. Um, when we think about Katrina, we really ought to put a face on it. And we ought to assume that Katrina's been blowing through this society for a long time. It didn't start with a storm a year ago. I mentioned in my opening remarks that one out of six children go to sleep tonight living in poverty. And we fought a war in poverty, allegedly, 45 years ago with a great society program. That poverty has existed for a long time. The storm allowed the White House and the rest of the world to look at people sitting on rooftops without very much. But we've been in poverty in, in this country, and we've had a situation that has festered for a long time. Poverty is not black. It is not white. It's not north. It's not south. It's in Appalachia as much as it is uh, in the West Coast. It's with us, and we've got to find a way to deal with it. Now, let me just say this about being in the United States Senate. I appreciate the legislation that people offer. I appreciate the resolutions. But as your senator, just like with the war in Iraq, I would go to the well of the floor of the Senate and begin a filibuster over and over and over until I had no breath, until the world was forced to look at this situation, until other members of the Senate, for whatever reason that they may have been out of this, would get into this and, and join me and that we would have a cacophony of voices speaking out about an issue that affects all Americans, speaking out once and for all to stop the business of the Senate, to force some real direction on this and some real answers. Otherwise, we're going to get hit by another storm, there'll be another tragedy, there'll be another incident, and there'll be another set of poor people, black, white, Latino, living in poverty, who will continue to believe that their government doesn't care. Six 